Well, today I'm going to make a three wheel bike. I got three wheels on it. Now, how do you do this? First, you need a bike frame, which I got here. Get this shiny piece I want to use. Get a mountain bike frame with the pivot so you can have a shock or something. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to cut off this, right off, and I'm going to cut off this, right off. And then, what I'm going to weld on, I'm going to weld on this, two inch steel pipe, a quarter inch thick, and I, when I cut it off here, I'm going to weld this on to here. So. Oh, about 8 inches longer. So the back wheel will be out to here. And the pivot on the back for the back axle. I need this bike, bike steer. Because the inside diameter is 1 inch. And the axle fit right inside. Then I'd have to weld this to here. Then you just put your axle through and that's it. Okay. First you take your take your hacks off and you cut here and here and here and here. Like so. You just keep doing it until it cut off. After five minutes of cutting, it off. Now what you do after this, you're gonna grind off the cut off, cut off corner. To grind them off with a hand grinder or a bench grinder. Anyway. But you gotta grind them off. You got it all grinded off. All down there, and up here. Nice and smooth to weld to. Now to cut the piece you want, like how long you want it. I'm gonna keep it about that long. Let me cut the end off a little bit. So it'll look good. And that's it. They're all been cut. Way forward to go. And two. So I'm gonna just slide right in there. Woo! Now, time to weld it. Got it all welded up. Got it all around there. Got all down here, making it strong. So I cut it for here. Make up the pivot. Up. Now, weld on this piece under here. You already had to both the chain on this side. So it always gotta be like this. Got the chain. And I gotta weld that on. I'm done. I got it welded all around. I got this little piece there I rolled it on too, so it'll give it more stronger. It won't buckle in. And I rolled it that a little bit more too. So, I'll weld it. And I can pivot. This piece here is uh, aluminum. So it's super white. I'm with it one finger. 
this piece back here is steel. It's very heavy. Read the top. Read that piece. It will be wider. Now, got your shock for it. Now, well, probably a brace in here. Get a normal steel brace. And start putting it together. Got it all done. Got this piece welded in. Cross member. And I got a shock that on there. And this is the back close up. Get it more welded normal. And yeah. This is the frame of the motor we done. Motor we done. Put the axle in. Bands, tires, the gear, the pedals, the forks, the handlebars, the seat, and front brakes and back brakes. How do I want to get the back brake to work? I'm going to. I got a Dick's brake back there. So and Calvert. So, I'll put the hold on. And when you break, the back end will slide all over the place. You walk up. I got the axle done. I sanded it all nice and smooth. I got the bands in. I welded them in. And I welded the other case to the axle. And the band is behind it. But before I did it, I, I pumped it up with grease. I welded this little grease fit and did a nut in the bolt. So uh, I need to undo it and put grease in there. More oil. This is smooth. And this is a one inch axle. So. Next step is to uh, find a gear fitted. I'm thinking about the gears here. I'm just thinking we can put the sleeve inside and it sleeves in there. The bolt uh, section. I'm thinking we need this one because it will seize on the inside. Okay. Put it on there. I got it all welded up. Got the gear on. I can't wait to try it out. And I put this gear with the pedals. And I put chain and Seat and the boss. Many tires. <laughs> Without tires, would <with> what? <laughs> of course. Now, time to put the freaking tire on. Oh, yeah, end brake. 